RAM is often considered to be one of the best things you could add on to your computer. Whether it be by manually adding it, or by buying another computer that has more RAM on it, it's often seen that a computer with more RAM often runs faster and smoother. Some people even argue that it is never overkill to have too much RAM. Now, I was looking at Combo Dev's YouTube channel, and he was talking about how he needed more RAM. Uh, I was in a call with him, and I brought up the question, how much RAM do you have? He mentioned that he had 20 gigabytes. Now, I started to wonder, just how much RAM could you have in a single computer? Assuming, of course, that we are both using a 64-bit system, because I don't think anybody really uses a 32-bit system now except for the grandma who lives next door. But that's besides the point. Let's see. How much RAM could you theoretically have in your computer? How many sticks of RAM would that be? And finally, how much money would it cost? My name is Voiceless Scooby. Let's figure this out, shall we? Now, if we're going to start this off, we're first going to need to answer the initial question. How much RAM is theoretically possible on a 64-bit computer? To answer this question, though, we're going to need to answer another question. What is the difference between 64-bit and 32-bit? The number of bytes that a 32-bit system can address is roughly 2 to the power of 32 bytes. This is in scientific notation, but to sum it up in short, this equals 4 gigabytes. So, it would make sense that most 32-bit machines limit around that uh, 4 gigabyte mark. Of course, if we're ignoring PAE altogether. But, we're not talking about 32-bit systems, we're talking about a 64-bit system. So we would use the same system, 2 to the power of 64, which equals this number. Yeah, that's a big fucking number. But, to put it in short, that is about 16 exabytes of RAM. Now, a single exabyte is equal to a million terabytes. So, after doing some math, we're going to uh, limit this down to terabytes, since I'm pretty sure that is the highest anybody bothers to learn to when it comes to learning about computer bytes. So, in practice, your computer would be able to have 16.8 million terabytes of RAM. Now, that is the first question done. 16.8 million terabytes. Now to answer the next question, we need to ask how many sticks of RAM could you put in your computer to get to this goal? So I did the math, 1 terabyte is equal to 1000 gigabytes, and if 16.8 million terabytes is the same thing as 16,800,000 terabytes, then we would just have to add 3 zeros to the end of it, which, give us, which gives us a rough estimate of 16 billion 800,000 gigabytes. Now, I went to Amazon and I looked to see just how big a single stick could be. And I found that the biggest a single stick was, was 16 gigs. 16 gigabytes. So, what I decided to do from here is to divide our total of 16 billion 800 million by 16 to see how many sticks we would get, which would equal to the grand total of 1 billion 50 million. That is how many sticks we would need in order to finally get a single computer with the maximum amount of RAM theoretically possible for a computer. 
but unfortunately, that's not the end of this video. You see, I'm striving to make this video get to 10 minutes, and I've already answered half of the questions in this video in 5 minutes. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to answer one final question. How much would this cost? Now, with a single computer, with all of this RAM in it, I took our sticks of RAM, which was 1 billion, 50 million, and I went back to that same page on Amazon, the page where I saw the 16 gigabyte RAM stick, and I saw that it costed about 70 US dollars. So, to find out how many United States dollars this would cost, we would have to take 1 billion and 50 million and multiply that by 70, which gives us our grand total of 73 billion 5 million United States dollars. But that's not it. You see, I'm making this video for Combo. A long time ago, he reached 10 million subscribers. And I planned to go to Canada and I'll put a picture in my video, in a video, just of me holding a sign saying, like, congratulations, uh, while I'm in Canada. Just to say, you know, congrats, man. But unfortunately, with the recent COVID 19 outbreak, that is impossible for, you know, the borders and everything are closed. So. Now he is nearing to 11 mil. Not mil. <laughs> Imagine if he did get to 11 million though. But he is reaching 11,000 subscribers, and he's reaching that fast. So, I guess this will be a sort of 11,000 subscriber special? Yay? So, to do that, I'm going to translate from US dollars to Canadian dollars. Now, one US dollar equals, hold on, give me a second. One United States dollar is equal to $1.40 in Canadian. Now, uh, if we were to say Combo Dev on, somehow became one of the richest Canadians in the probably the richest Canadian in the entirety of Canada, had the most amount of money and could spend that on anything. Combo at this point has money to spend. And he decides, I'm rich, I can buy as much RAM as I want. I'm gonna buy the, uh, I'm gonna buy this many sticks of RAM. Okay, so, 73 billion, 500 million US dollars. If we convert that into Canadian dollars by uh, multiplying this by uh, this, we would get a grand total of... Yeah. I'm not even gonna read that one out, Jesus. And that puts us at the end of this video. That is the theoretically the most amount of RAM you could ever get. And this is how many sticks you would need, which equates to this much money. So, I think it's pretty evident that nobody will ever have this much RAM, unless, you know, Elon Musk or somebody decides to do that. But I'm pretty sure he, he doesn't even have this much money. So, if anybody has $74 billion lying around, you know what to do. And if you're in Canada, that's 104 billion. Yeah. I don't know why I made this video, but yeah. Happy 11K combo. Have a good day.